It all started way back, when Jurassic was a date, and I don't mean at the movies. A bunch of fossils left the impression that a dinosaur with a 40-foot wingspan once flew the Earth. Pterodactyl went absent without leave. Since then, relatives have kept Stumm. Some scientists say Terry hung out like a bat. Others, that he couldn't run, so he had to fly. Me, I say getting info on this guy is as easy as drawing blood from a stone. So if you want some rock-solid facts on how dinosaurs flew the roost, there's only one man for the job. Join Attenborough tomorrow, 7 o'clock, on BBC One. Nothing prehistoric about what's flying on BBC One now as aircraft from 30 countries celebrate the 75th anniversary of the RAF in the military spectacular The International Air to Two, presented by Julian Tutt and Raymond Baxter. 75 years ago, on April the 1st, 1918, to be precise, the Royal Air Force was born. But I wonder what its great father figure, Lord Trenchard, and his gallant pilots of three quarters of a century ago would have said had they seen what you and I are looking at now. You join me in a Hawk advanced jet trainer of number 74, the famous Tiger Squadron, now part of four FTS at Valley in Anglesey, flown by Flight Lieutenant Tony Dalton, call sign Tiger 3. Beside and behind us, 19 identical aircraft at 1,500 feet and getting on for 300 knots. The whole formation is led by Wing Commander Martin Stoner, the Chief Instructor at Valley. Together, we write in the sky the figure 75 to celebrate that anniversary. And within that celebration, we shall trace as best we may the history of the Royal Air Force. Thank you. 